This video covers configuring Trariga Exchange integration to use OAuth authentication. It is applicable to all customers that are using Outlook 365 or hybrid exchange configurations with Trariga Reserve. Why should you update your exchange configuration? Microsoft is sunsetting basic authentication for Microsoft 365 effective October 2020 for new uh, integrations and second half of 2021 for active existing integrations. If you do not update your configuration before Microsoft sunsets basic auth it will cease to function. There are five steps for that will be covered. I'm um, registering an auth application with a Microsoft portal granting an exchange user impersonate rights for use with OAuth in the exchange admin console, registering the Microsoft OAuth application with Tririga, updating the Tririga exchange configuration to use OAuth, and possibly importing the Microsoft signer certificate into the Tririga application server. To create a Microsoft OAuth application for use with the Tririga uh, Exchange integration, go to the Microsoft Azure application registration page and create a new registration. Give the application a name. In most cases it will be a single tenant application, um, but you need to decide based on your Microsoft integration. The redirect URL is not used for the exchange integration, but if you're going to reuse the application for um, other integrations such as the reserve integration, you may want to put a URL in and it will be a web URL. Go to Certificates and Secrets, create a new client secret, be sure to copy and save the secret as you will not be able to view it again after you leave this page. Go to API Permissions, Add Permissions, Look for the Exchange Supported Legacy API, create application permissions, and grant full access. Then grant admin consent for the applications um, to be used in your Exchange integration. An Exchange Online user must be granted the impersonate right. To do this, an administration role must be created. This can either be done via PowerShell script or through the Office 365 Admin Console. To do it through the Admin Console, select Admin Roles. Add a new role. Give the role a name. Select the application impersonate. And select an existing user. To configure Tririga Reserve to use the previously registered OAuth setting, go to the Tririga Reserve application setting page. Specify the user 
setup for impersonation in previous steps. The default online exchange URL. Provide a default email. Which in this case, I will use the same user. Check that it is Office 365. Select the OAuth configuration that was set up in the previous step. The password shows is filled in, but it is not used and can be ignored. Save the configuration. The Triweekly integration makes outbound SSL calls to the Exchange server to retrieve the OAuth token. To be able to do this, it must trust the Microsoft certificate used for the SSL channel. To do that, it, the signer certificate used by Microsoft must be installed in the app server. For WebSphere Liberty, this is done using the JVM command line key tool. For full WAS, this can be done through the admin console, which is what will be shown here. Go to Security, SSL Certificates, Key Stores and Certificates. Typically, this will be in the Node Trust Store, but depending on your deployment, uh, it could be in a Cell Trust Store. Select Signer Certificate and Retrieve from Port. Enter the Microsoft host name. Enter the standard SSL port of 443. Enter an alias. Select Retrieve from Port, which displays the certificate that you can verify, and accept, and then save.